Um, hi, uh, thank you for uh, thank you for coming. Uh, I'm Mr. Sima, and uh, uh, I'm gonna talk about the uh, how something the uh, Samsung Pay uh, uh, implant uh, his uh, its uh, Samsung Pay, and uh, the <laughs> sorry, um, and uh, what's the uh, syst uh, internal system mechanism inside the Samsung Pay, and. Uh, and also, I'm gonna talk about the uh, uh, the mistake uh, that Samsung made and by uh, uh, Samsung made, and also by the third third party developer. Uh, developer. So who am I? Uh, because this is the first time for me to give a speech here, so I, I'm quite nervous, and I was struggling how to introduce myself. Uh, until I landing in London, and when I take a taxi, and uh, after the some conversation, the taxi driver just told me, "You remind me of Jack Ma." <laughs> so that you, I think mm, some of you might uh, know me, and uh, and I'm from Tencent uh, Shenhua Lab, and uh, I'm a security researcher. And uh, oh, sorry. This is my uh, uh, email, and uh, you can you can contact me if you have any questions. So and um, focus on the embedded devices security, and uh, especially on the uh, on the uh, software and the firmware reverse uh, reverse engineering. And uh, uh, now I'm just transfer to the uh, the some uh, IoT security. And uh, I'm also a big fan of Lincoln Park, so the the rock, rock and roll. Yep, uh, let's start. So in this topic, uh, I just uh, divide the the topic into three parts. And uh, the the first part, I'm gonna talk about what is Samsung Pi, and the uh, the second part is I'm gonna introduce uh, the. Uh, uh, the architecture of Samsung Pay, and the uh, uh, on the final part, I'm gonna talk about how to steal money from Samsung Pay, and uh, is it work or not? So, uh, if any one of you have used the Samsung Pay, may get familiar familiar with with it, but I uh, I still gonna talk about some uh, how uh, what is Samsung Pay. And uh, in my opinion, Samsung Pay consi consists of three parts. And uh, at the top is magnetic card, and uh, and uh, with uh, SE, which we're I'm gonna talk about later. And at the at the, at the fundamental uh, fundamental of uh, Samsung Pay is the tokenization technology. So let's get started with a uh, 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 magnetic card. And uh, you might know. Uh, magnetic card technology was used for the uh, the first generation bank card, and now it's still using for some room card. And in the case of uh, a bank card, uh, it consists of uh, three tracks to, to physically on on the card. And uh, the most important part of the uh, of the of these tracks is the track. Uh, the second track is track two, and uh, when you are trying to do uh, a transaction or a payment, and the uh, uh, tra track two is the only information transferred from uh, to the uh, to, uh, to the uh, post terminal, and uh, as you see, this is the uh, this is just an example of uh, track two uh, track two information. Uh, the first part uh, we call uh, is uh, is a primary account number. We call this PAN, a PAN. And uh, the other part, the second part, is some kind of uh, information. is is a, is a confidential information. You have to keep it keep it secret. And uh, so once once the track to data leaked, um, and uh, someone can du duplicate your card. And uh, so that's the how the uh, card schemer work. And uh, let's go to the uh, MSD. MSD is just kind of a, a technology to simulate uh, simulate a magnetic card. Uh, so uh, it's using the 
uh, alert generating a, a magnetic field to just simulate how uh, the the uh, the information of, on the on, on the card. And the, this technology was invented by LoopPay, and now uh, this this company was bought by Samsung, and uh, the technology is also ported to the uh, to the Samsung Pay. So uh, this is just. Uh, example on, on the uh, on, on the magnetic card. If we put some uh, magnetic powder on uh, on the on the on the mac, uh, on the card, and we can see some some lines and with different uh, uh, just some some of thin and some fat. So that's the uh, the pattern of uh, of the uh, information stored on it. So uh, I extract some uh, a, a picture from the pent, uh, patent uh, of the M MST technology, and this is how the uh, MST work. And uh, if uh, a smartphone equipped with a MST device, so uh, the uh, the, uh, the the smartphone will transfer uh, the, the, will pass the data to the to the driver inside the equipment, and then the driver will generate uh, generate generate signal depending on the on your data, and uh, the post terminal will just capture the uh, uh, capture the signal and decode it and uh, some do some calculation and then transfer it to the uh, transaction center. That's the uh, this just looks normal than uh, just the same as the uh, traditional transaction. And however, the MST technology, the uh, the energy they transferred is quite high. So anyone around the device can capture the signal. So to overcome this shortage, and uh, Samsung introduced this technology. We call is tokenization. Tokenization technology is kind of the technology to process sensitive data, and uh, this uh, is just kind of like you you get your sensitive data in, and uh, then is and give out some random like data out, and uh, the the tokenized number can be verified but cannot be reversed back. So that's the uh, Advantage of this technology, and but how to if you uh, if you uh, develop a, a payment or a, a mobile payment, you have to do some storage to store some stuff. So uh, where to store the the data or uh, others? And the Samsung deploy the SE secure element. The secure element is kind of a chip, a chip, and this chip is uh, is quite high, uh, uh, have quite high uh, security level, and you can put your data and uh, uh, in, into it, and uh, theoretically, no man can extract it. And uh, the calculation was do, uh, was done inside this chip, so. Uh, all your sensitive data cannot be out in uh, out of the the chip. Uh, there are three type of uh, uh, secure element, and the first type, as uh, you can see the on the on the on the right, and the first is embedded type, and uh, it's just a stick on the on the PCB board, and uh, the other uh, the, the second one is just uh, is is is. It's kind of uh, kind of a SIM card, and it's have uh, uh, the same functional uh, function of a SIM card, but with a uh, uh, secure element built in. And uh, in China, we uh, some some telecom providers who just you uh, pr provide this type of uh, uh, SE to give uh, with uh, they, they co uh, cooperate with uh, some uh, bus. Uh, Bus company or the subway company, and then the uh, the end user can use uh, can replace the SIM card, and then then they can have uh, they can use the this SIM card as their uh, tra transportation card. So that that's the application. So and and the th the third one is 
just kind of looks like a micro SD, and the uh, secure element is just built in it. And uh, it's not quite common to see the application of this type of SE, so uh, I, I didn't find any example on it. And uh, in our case, Samsung used the first one. So the, the chip is just on the, uh, uh, on the, <coughs> on the PCB board. So, um, as I mentioned before, some calculation was done inside the secure element, so it has to be some, some, some program inside it. And uh, from the point of software, where, um, the SE just looks like a smart card, so it has a OS in it. So we call it a card OS. And uh, up on the OS, there is there are a lot of applicates running on it, and uh, and all of this applicate was developed by Java, and uh, this is just uh, some features of uh, of this, and uh, one of one of it I want to mention is the uh, the <coughs> sorry the author identity can communicate with these uh, applicate tablet with uh, a protocol called APDU, uh, Application Protocol uh, Data Unit. Uh, that's, and uh, so that's the background of how Samsung, uh, what is Samsung Pi. So let's go, go forward to see the architecture. I use Paramate uh, forms to just to, oh sorry, it's quite, it's quite dark. Uh, to just to, to show the architecture of Samsung Pi, um, and the, the bottom is uh, is we know is Android uh, is Android apps, and uh, just the uh, Samsung uh, and the, the, it's just apps, and uh, and uh, uh, the the higher the higher level is some labs from the native and the use for the communication and the crypto crypto stuff. And uh, in the kernel, there are some drivers uh, inside, and uh, to work with, uh, or just do some work in, inside inside the lab level. And uh, there are some trust zone trust zone applications uh, running uh, inside inside this level. And the top is SE, and uh, there are still some app, app uh, <coughs> sorry uh, applicants uh, run, running in SE. So let's go through each level to see what's, uh, what's the details of this. And uh, the first component for an Android, Android, Android app level is uh, some, some pay stuff. As the name implies, so you, can, you can just see it's just a, a stuff and without uh, some, uh, some function. So it's the, the, the uh, the function for, of this app is just uh, to install the, these three important components. And uh, so uh, it, when, I, when I do in the research, I found that if you don't have this stuff, it still work. You can, you can just uh, install all of these, uh, these uh, apps uh, manually and uh, the Samsung, Samsung will always work. And uh, above that is main app and uh, the framework. The main app just provides the UI and the, the, the code, code to communicate to do the card management and, uh, and it stores some, uh, some information and the configurations into the, uh, these, these files. And uh, the, it, it also maintains uh, several uh, SQLite database, and uh, the the account of uh, a SQLite database is depends on the the region you you are in. So uh, in China we have uh, about eight eight database in it, and uh, most of the data was encrypted, and by by the uh, private algorithm, and uh, and the framework is uh, the, the, the main function for the framework is just to provide the communication uh, to, the, uh, to the trust zone and uh, to the trust, trust, trust light. And uh, 
uh, I don't know what the other region's implementation, but I found, I found in, inside the Chinese version, there are app, uh, the trust light binaries are, are binded in, into the fr framework. And uh, so that's the, that's the uh, uh, framework. And, uh, and uh, w when you are doing the, uh, uh, Doing, doing the payment, and uh, all of the uh, some of the, uh, the the binaries will be loaded into in, into the trust zone, and it will be run in, inside inside. And uh, here is uh, another important component called the TSM service. Uh, I think uh, the uh, the full name is Trusted Service Management. And uh, the these these summits uh, uh, these. Uh, this service is just a client to the uh, to the to the bank you are uh, your your card registered, so uh, it's uh, a bridge between the bank and uh, the Samsung Pay, and uh, is uh, in China we we have the uh, we have the we have the version provided and signed by by, by China by, by China Union Pay, and the function of this this service is just pro provide the enrollment. Just uh, enroll to your your new card and uh, and download your card and uh, update update some some stuff and uh, to to revoke revoke or uh, and delete it uh, delete the, the, the work and uh, uh, the service the, this service uh, as I said is uh, just a client so is communicate with uh, to to with your uh, your 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 bank. Your, your your bank website, and uh, so uh, theoretically, if if uh, if Samsung Samsung Pay was want a uh, launch support on some certain region, and uh, the only thing they have to do is just to make um, TSM service for this region or for for this bank. So that's the 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 character of uh, inside the Samsung Pay, and. Uh, uh, this is, could be the last uh, component of uh, inside the uh, uh, of uh, uh, some Android app, and uh, we we call it SKMS Agent. SKMS Agent represents the uh, uh, Samsung Key uh, Management Service Agent. is the uh, components com uh, communicate with some, some. This could be the only only components com communicate with. Samsung Web Server, and uh, I don't know whether uh, the uh, is uh, is mistake or, or or something. I found some uh, clear code, clear code uh, version of of this, so I can rec uh, reverse. Uh, I can re uh, rec uh, sorry. Uh, I can just uh, use the the symbol. There's so a lot of symbol in it, and. Uh, this uh, this agent's just doing the uh, uh, SE initialization at the very beginning phase, and uh, these work are only only done in once. So, um, uh, and uh, when you do a, do doing some payment, and it will also collect some uh, SE information for 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 the for the further use. And uh, here is just uh, four uh, APIs for uh, inter interface to the to the native, and uh, the first two uh, the first two just used to uh, communicate with uh, a trust light in, in trust zone when you are doing the payment, and these the the, the the third one will uh, will be used to send some uh, some. Commands to the trust trust the light, and uh, oh, I will mention later. And uh, so that's the interface. And uh, here is the uh, relationship between all the components in in, in the Android app app level. As you can see, um, oh, in the center is the uh, the main app, and. Uh, and uh, to go to go up is just uh, TSM service, and uh, the the uh, this region just uh, uh, communicate with the out out server, uh, the web server, and uh, the the bottom 
part is just coming to uh, talk to the uh, the lower level like uh, 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 native 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 uh, components. So so that that that's it. And uh, so let's look into the Android native. Android native includes some uh, uh, sorry uh, includes some labs. So that is some uh, a shared library. And uh, the the core of uh, of these labs is is uh, lab mc client dot, dot so and uh, the na uh, the meaning of this lab is uh, mobi core client uh, lab and the mobi core is just uh, the name of a, a trusted zone or uh, operating system so this is is just uh, uh, this is is um, the 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 communication lab to talk to to, to the trusted zone and uh, uh, there are also a uh, a, a daemon to just just for the for for the uh, communication. The, in this daemon is uh, you can you can connect to, to the daemon by by the local socket the Unix so, uh, Unix socket, and then you can control the daemon to talk to the driver and by writing a re reading or a, a IO control code and to do some uh, m control or management uh, uh, stuff and. Uh, there are also three three device interface in, uh, for the uh, for this, and uh, you can see the the first two is just uh, for uh, provided by the by the mobile code driver, and this is just uh, you can set some behaviors for for the for the driver, and the last one is the uh, is the interface you can control the. MST device, and you can turn on and uh, turn turn off the MST device. Then, so you can when when you want when you to do the uh, <laughs> do the payment, the uh, the program ju will just turn on the MST. So just enable the the feature. And uh, let's go to the kernel. There are three drivers in 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 this kernel, as I mentioned. The first is the interface for the for the user land, and the other is a movie called kernel driver. Is just driver talk to to, to uh, trust zone, and this is uh, this driver is just control the MST device. And uh, fortunately, we have all the source code, so you can download the, from the open source code open source website from Samsung. And uh, this uh, uh, and th in, in this in this table, I just summarize uh, summarize the, uh, the the command ID for control the MST code, and uh, you can see the first two just to uh, turn on or turn turn off the MST device, and these these three I th I don't I, I didn't find any use on, on it. It could be some uh, uh, test. Uh, uh, test the feature and cut off in from for the for the user user release. So and uh, these uh, send tests uh, are used in uh, in the um, in the uh, test uh, the, the, the test program. If you you can launch the ter test program and it will uh, uh, just send this this command and uh, and the MST device will just uh, uh, give out the uh, the test signal and to test the, uh, the whether the MST device is work or not. And uh, let's go let's go to see some uh, uh, trust zones stuff. And as much, uh, as I said, the name of um, uh, trust zone is uh, Mobi Core. is is a closed uh, is a closed source o OS and. Uh, in in this in this level is doing some uh, authentication or a, a secure storage, and uh, uh, the the application running in this level we call it a trust light, and the trust light for payments is not encrypted and but signed by something, and uh, so uh, uh, like all the. Others, all the all the applications is have uh, entry and accept the two arguments. And the first is the TCI, and the TCI is is just a pointer to the uh, word shared memory. This this shared memory can you can be used by both normal world and the secure world. And they they share the 
they can share the and exchange the data uh, from this memory. And that uh, and uh, the the length is just 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 the length. And uh, after the uh, trust light uh, loaded, and it will do some initialization to to ensure the environment is correct. And then it, it will call this API just to wait for the wake up from from normal world. And uh, so. Uh, <coughs> When you are using the native native process TA command, it will send the send the command to the to the trust lab here. So uh, let's let's go to see the the some information of a, a, a secure element. So when I, when I start doing doing this research, there isn't I can't find any specific information about. The secure element used in Samsung Pay, but uh, but uh, when I uh, when I s start to make these slides and and I tried I tried again to search to to search some information and uh, then I found this because some of customers just uh, avoid the uh, avoid the uh, NDA agreement so. So they they leaked some uh, about eighty pages of, of the information of uh, 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 secure elements, and uh, some of some of items I, I want to mention is the ISA uh, instruction instructions uh, is eighty C fifty one, and uh, in it has uh, one point two megabytes flash inside. And the SE it was integrated into the NFC controller, so you can't see any the, uh, any chips in uh, from from the PCB board. But to communicate with with the SE directly, and it's just give some give uh, give out a SPI interface con connecting directly to the to the SE, and. Uh, in, from the from the document, I, I found the SE have a five five operation mode, but the first uh, the first uh, three was disabled when when the uh, using for a product. And uh, if uh, if you are familiar with uh, uh, the the common character, uh, uh, you you will be uh, th this number will give you a sense how. The uh, uh, secure element secure, and uh, this is is pretty high level, and uh, this is uh, just uh, sorry, <laughs> this uh, just a, a diagram of uh, of this secure element, uh, how how is uh, the uh, inside, so uh, I don't I don't want to go through it, so it's just you can, and. Uh, from the software, we can uh, the the SE have a, a card OS inside, and uh, this uh, this operation system, operation system was was regulated by a global a global platform, and so the uh, the uh, uh, the OS was just follow the instruction how, how to the build uh, build a secure. Uh, uh, Secure operation system and how to do the uh, protection. And there are two concepts I, I want to uh, uh, emphasize. The first is a security domain, and the second is a secure channel. <laughs> security domain is uh, is what you, you can imagine the uh, the secure element is uh, uh, just a house and. Uh, and uh, the secure domain is just kind of a room inside the house, and uh, we can't uh, the uh, the the applicate run run inside the house and cannot uh, talk to to the others to the others in, in inside the room. And all the configuration data was also inside the this house uh, inside this room. And the secure channel is <coughs> is uh, uh, is built on the upon the IPDU, and uh, they add some commands on the uh, commands on commands and uh, uh, on 
on this protocol. And this, uh, all, all of these commands is just to help you to, uh, to do some uh, no negotiation and uh, authentication. And uh, after the uh, authentication finished, and uh, uh, a session keys will be generated uh, by the previous package, and uh, and the latest pack <laughs> packets will be encrypted by by session session key. And uh, the root of the uh, these uh, uh, secure channel is depend on the uh, keys in, uh, inside the SE, and the, and the only known by. Uh, by SE and something. And so in a word, I just uh, go through the uh, architecture of Samsung Pay, and uh, it's uh, quite a lot of level uh, uh, layers in, in, in the uh, well designed the uh, Samsung Pay. And uh, in late, uh, in, the, in the following pages, I just want to focus on these two, pay, uh, these two layers because most of the works, most of the work uh, appeared here. So, so how to steal money from, sorry, steal money from something pipe? We just uh, think about two scenarios to to do 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 this stuff. And the first is from the remote, and the other from the local. And uh, let's go to see the first uh, scenario, the payment. So how some how how does work inside when you're doing the uh, something uh, uh, when you're doing the payment? And this is just a, a, a brief introduction of how you uh, how the user guide to 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 to, to the, do the uh, uh, payment. And uh, so uh, and the Samsung Pay will release uh, both. Uh, MST signal and uh, uh, NFC signal to, uh, at the same time, but uh, and uh, but the uh, MST signal is quite easy to uh, observe, uh, observe uh, uh, sorry, to to see. So uh, so we we are focused on only on this, and uh, and if you uh, for, uh, if you have heard of some other research on on the Samsung Pay and. Uh, um, there are many lot of uh, report on how to capture the MST signal. So I just pass through this uh, this this page and to see we are only focused on how the signal and how how the uh, token. And you can see uh, you may notice the in this signal the first uh, the, the the tail and the uh, the leading uh, the leading part. Just looks the same. Yes, these these are the zeros, and these zero, zeros to just to help the readers to recognize the signal was released, and we'll we'll mention it later. And uh, in this in this picture, you can see these are all the identical signal with different uh, amplitude. And uh, in China version, I found a dif different. Uh, implementation of the of the uh, token, and uh, <clears throat> when when we're doing the research, we we found uh, uh, Samsung didn't uh, Samsung Pay didn't use any internet access or cellular to generate the token. So it's the most uh, possible way they are sy synchronized is by sequence number, and uh, this is the sequence number, and uh, you see and uh, uh, for each time is increased by one, and uh, so the, this this behavior is inspire us. Is it the algorithm for generate token is by uh, some random generator with a seed, and then they can s synchronize with just a s secret number. So we go into to see how this token. Generate, and uh, the token generate is quite important for for a mobile payment uh, payment solution. So Samsung use a uh, layers model to, model to just minimize the att attacking service, and uh, most work and uh, uh, just uh, in in trust zone and uh, SE, and uh, in in this in this progress we found the two procedure. 
mainly through procedure involved. And uh, all the other uh, yellow part is the uh, parameter accepted from the user land. Let's see the start pay. The start, this is just uh, the workflow for, for, uh, of, of this procedure. And the first is get uh, authentication result, just a check if you have uh, if you have in, input the password or use the free, uh, finger, uh, a fingerprint or uh, something. And then it converts the, uh, the, the parameter uh, we call this AID, is applicant, uh, applic, uh, sorry, the ID for the applicant in, in, in inside the uh, SE. And it's just, uh, and then it's open the uh, SE device and this is through the SPI device, uh, interface I, I mentioned before. And then it will ch check the pay, the pay mode. The pay mode is just for uh, is NFT pay or uh, uh, MST pay. And uh, after all the, all the check passed, it will just send a, a APDU command. The, the, the command could be called the get check data. And the, the check data is just call the uh, uh, applied applet in, inside the SE and to generate the the token because the, the token is just a part of the uh, track data and then after that the uh, it will check the uh, check uh, is uh, whether the, uh, the 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 SE is valid or not uh, uh, sorry the the uh, the track data is valid or not and then it will copy the data to the world shared memory and then wait for the for, for another command is called uh, transmit MST data, and the, uh, to do the uh, transmit MST data, it's uh, accept one uh, uh, one parameter, and the web, the parameter is to generate the uh, leading and the tail tail zeros as we see in the in the picture. And the 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 head, the head and the tail are, are all also zeros, and the uh, the first uh, they they're gonna ch ch uh, check the check the data, and then encode it with the data with the uh, the chat set of uh, track two, and uh, then adjust the data with uh, uh, just adding the uh, tail and the leading zero, and then send send to send out this signal. This is how the MST. Uh, uh, how, how the payment work. So in this stage, we count, uh, <coughs> we, we found the algorithm for uh, generate token is still, uh, is inside the SE. So uh, at this stage, we ca I count, uh, I just can capture the signal and replay it uh, if, uh, if it's not used, but if, if the, uh, if the token was used uh, or expired, we can't uh, we can't have any uh, attack. So uh, here comes the question: Can we get the algorithm inside the SE and uh, generate a valid token off the phone? So we start the second approach. So uh, the second approach is about uh, the registration because uh, when the uh, when you are enroll your card uh, inside the Samsung Pay, you have to register your, car, uh, your bank card in, uh, uh, in, the app, in the app. So this is wizard uh, how, you, how you register your, uh, your card inside the Samsung Pay. And uh, the first, you have to input or uh, let the camera to read your uh, uh, primary account number. This is uh, the bank uh, the, 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 the number. And then you have to enter some, uh, enter some information of, uh, of this card. And uh, if you use a debit card, you have to in input the password for, 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 for this card. If you are using credit card, you have to uh, input the secure, security code. And after, after you input all the information, and uh, the, here is come the uh, terms and con conditions page, and you have to agree it, and so it will go on. And uh, once, the, uh, once you agree with the, the terms, and you, 
you, you, you might pick up a, a way to do the identification. That's just to let the, uh, let the uh, something to know this is you to do, do this uh, work, uh, do this operation. And uh, uh, the, mainly wor uh, the, the mainly method is just to send you some one-time pa password and to verify you are, you, you are, you, you are the guy to, to, to do, the, do the operation. And once, the, uh, once all of this is done, and you have to wait, uh, and to wait for the download and uh, wait for the car, uh, your card to be, uh, to be activated. And uh, so that, that's the general uh, progress for regist uh, registration. So, but what is inside? We, we are going, we, are, we were just uh, to do some reverse engineering on the, on this progress and to see what's going on. And uh, before I go through the progress, I just want to see some, uh, want, want to say some of the uh, advantage and the disadvantage uh, during, the, uh, during the reverse engineering, I found the, uh, the, 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 <coughs> the uh, something do. And uh, the, 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 when, the, the, when the app launched, they will check the environment and uh, to see if it work, uh, it is uh, it is safe to to launch, and uh, all uh, and uh, Samsung Pay is highly relying relied on the the, the, the Nox system, and the, the Nox system is the ba the ba the base base of the security uh, system of uh, Samsung uh, Samsung <coughs> Samsung uh, mo mobile phone. Once the this system corrupt. You can not, uh, cannot launch the uh, Samsung Pay app again, and uh, and uh, it will also do some checks uh, uh, both on the packets and uh, the or the uh, <coughs> or the binaries. And uh, but what what Samsung doing bad is it's locked all the action they are doing on to the to the lock cat. So you can you can you can just monitor the the lock cat and see. What they are, they are doing, and uh, second, they, they they locked all the decrypted packet HTTPS packet into the into the lock cap. So you you don't even have to do some main the middle attack to to to, to decrypt the, the the packet, and then uh, most important is there an other information leaked in the in the lock cap. So. <coughs> So this is the progress uh, inside the app that when you're doing the registration. And the first, it will collect your, uh, uh, collect your uh, issuer information by your uh, bank card. And uh, it could be contain the uh, who issued this card and how to communicate with uh, this bank. And uh, the what about the term, uh, terms and condition, and uh, what about um, the tap of, of the bank card, and then with this information, and uh, it will uh, <coughs> apply the, uh, a visual uh, card for, for 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 your bank card, and uh, in this time it will collect uh, just pack your uh, 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 bank card number and with your password or the security code, and then do the Euro card. And then a new thread will be launched to do some wait, waiting work. So uh, I will talk later. And, uh, <coughs> and uh, in the same time, the Samsung Pay will request a one-time password for, for, for the identification and the ver verification. And uh, this is just a simple. Uh, you you get your one-time password and input it and verify it, and uh, so the key point for this uh, uh, for this progress is the uh, wait push. But what they are waiting, they are waiting for the this information, and this information was leaked on locked ca lock cat. And so, why, why this information is important? Because this information is critical for for download your visual card. That the visual card is kind of uh, is kind of uh, uh, applicate. And uh, 
So the, the most important in this information is the SSID. And the SSID could be kind of a, 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 a session ID provided by your bank. And the, this is unique for you to download, to download, request your uh, visual card app applicate from, from the bank card, uh, from the bank, 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 bank website. So, and uh, uh, another good news for this information is the SSID is quite life, uh, long life. It can be valid up to, up, um, up to 24 hours. So it's give the attacker, sorry, attacker a great opportunity to intervene this, this progress and to do some work or to do some debugging. So this is how we establish, uh, to establish the communication using, uh, uh, using the <coughs> this information. The first step, we have to uh, initial connection to the uh, TSM service and the, in, the, in the Android level. And uh, <coughs> once <coughs> the connection is established, we can use the, uh, the information here, the sign and the SSID and uh, some uh, others, that, that, that doesn't matter. So use this, use this information, we can just make our client to uh, connect, uh, talk to a uh, TS, uh, TSM service and uh, to do some debugging or to just to know what's going on when, do, when downloading the, uh, the uh, visual card. So this is just general part, uh, part of uh, um, downloading. And uh, the first uh, is uh, <coughs> SE initialization and the second is uh, visual card applicate, uh, applet, uh, download. And all of this is uh, in the in the in the first in 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 this SE initialization, a new <coughs> security domain was was created by by Samsung, and uh, this uh, this uh, security domain we, we can call it is supplementary uh, security domain, and this this domain was just a, a, a room that your uh, visual card applet uh, app uh, running in. And uh, so that's the, <coughs> that's the other part. But both of these progress was uh, encrypted and, uh, and saved by uh, session key and uh, SSL. So if we want to go in, inside this, this, uh, this progress, we have to do something. And the first uh, fact is traffic packet just encrypted, and uh, to and we have to decrypt it. But I used the man in the middle SSL attack; it didn't work, and uh, so we have to do some internal program problem uh, on 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 this system. So I need a root root privilege. So what is secure root privilege? Because uh, as I mentioned, the, uh, the Samsung, Samsung Pay is highly relying on his uh, hardware-based uh, uh, system protection. So uh, we, have, we need a root access, but we, 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 we can't touch any the security protection to trigger any stuff we, we don't want. We, we want the Samsung Pay work properly. So um, we, we need just a root access without touching anything, others. So the fact is Samsung Pay was launched with Android 6.0, but it works on 5.1. And uh, 5.1 is vulnerable to some root tools and the, like a dirty cow. And uh, so we can gain the uh, root access temporarily, but it is enough for us. So with the root access, we can do something. We examine the, uh, the code of, uh, of the uh, TSM service and the SKMS, SKMS agent. And uh, to, we found some code snap that could be help us to get the uh, pl plain test because they they doing the log, they are doing all the log. But 
uh, in, uh, in, in, in practice, we can't catch these, the logs because they are disabled. So with the, the root access, we can do something. So let's first see the T TSM service. This is a code snap of uh, uh, how they control the, the log. And uh, we, we, we trace the, <laughs> we trace the, the, uh, the value, wh where the value come from. And uh, I found the, the value come from the, from uh, a JNI, JNI, uh, AP, uh, <coughs> JNI French, uh, method. So what's this? A disassembler, this method is always return false. So if this return false and the no log was done, so uh, the, the best way is for us is just patch the, patch this lab and uh, write it back to, to it. And uh, the, the, this we cannot, uh, we will not trigger any check. So that's the, the first uh, trick to enable the, the, the debug log. And the, the second will be uh, a little complicated. And uh, as you see, <laughs> the debug was controlled by two flags. And the first flag goes into the Android runtime lab and called its product shift native. And uh, we can also use the trick before uh, uh, the, we used the previous, but, uh, but the, uh, we can, uh, if we want to apply the patch, we have to queue all the system and reboot it, reboot the system, and then the, 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 the patch will be applied. But with the second, with, it seems we can't do anything because the second is a read-only property. And it's, we can't, we can't mod, mod, modify these properties. So it's all, always return zero, and the, the debug will be disabled. But SKM agent is shipped with uh, uh, shipped with the firmware, and the, the uh, there is no uh, APK package inside the in, inside the file uh, inside the system, and it's uh, it's just a ODEX ODEX file, and the system will execute the native code inside the ODEX and uh, without compile the uh, Delphi code. So let's modify the no native code directly. So when we dis disassemble the uh, ODEX file, we found these two <coughs> jumps, and uh, if we just patch these jumps, this will enable the, uh, the, the debug log. But how can we apply the uh, pa patch? Because dim verity is enabled, we can't change the files on the, on the system partition. But but files in Delphi cache is also ODEX file. And the system will load the Delphi cache if the, the ODEX doesn't exist in, in their directory. So, uh, and if we remo remount the system partition and remove the ODEX file, it will not trigger the uh, DM verity. So, sorry and uh, no integrated check for ODEX uh, for native code. So that we, we, we can modify the uh, native code and uh, it will not trigger any check. So that's the strategy to apply the patch. So you can just follow the, uh, do the patch and, uh, and rename the file with the name convention and uh, just, just this. So with the, with the debug, debug log enabled, we have the detailed progress inside, inside this done registration. And this is all the steps they are doing it during the registration. The first is, uh, as you can see, <coughs> the green line is done by SKMS agent, and the rest is by TSM, TSM service. And, uh, the first six we call it is uh, SE initialization, and the, the last one is to in, <coughs> install the applicate, uh, app, install the uh, install your visual card, and uh, <coughs> do, 
all of these pack, uh, all of these progress was uh, secured by secure channel. So, um, and uh, there are three keys in to involved during the uh, this all of uh, the, the this the, these steps. So, uh, unfortunately, I can't get any of these keys. So, w what I can do is just to go through what they are doing, just from the pack. And uh, the first step for the uh, for the for this is just create a supplementary security domain. And this domains was uh, was created by something, and uh, <coughs> and uh, and the secure channel for this for for this step is to is uh, key ISD, and this is the ISD. I I I believe this is. The same among all the all the all the device, and uh, you can see this. This is the sample pack. Uh, pack uh, they, they they send to the uh, to uh, to doing this work, and once the client uh, requests us the uh, to doing do this work, and the server uh, the server will re will return some uh, APDU <coughs> commands back and uh, put it into this field. And uh, and uh, this, and the client will send the, all of these uh, commands back to the SE and uh, uh, to and wait for collect the the, the results they execute and uh, uh, once the uh, once the uh, result collected and it will send back to the to the server and the, and the request the next set of uh, the commands. So this is just how they do during how they do during the uh, create the supplementary uh, doc, <coughs> supplementary uh, security uh, uh, domain, and uh, it will just collect some uh, information of your SE and uh, in, install some uh, app applicant, um, and then set some keys. And the keys, the the the, the, the last step of set keys is the default key for your new supplementary uh, security domain. And, uh, and from, from here, and uh, the TMS service will do the, do the rest of the work. And it will just uh, use the uh, default key to just change the key to, to, to the key they, they only they know. And then it will install the R, R, uh, ARC, ARC client uh, application to for for uh, into the SE. This application is uh, is to just allow the specific um, uh, Android uh, app to access SE. So that's the another hardware based uh, uh, access control mechanism in inside this. And then you will do some uh, personal uh, personalized uh, work on it. And then it will write the Access rules for uh, uh, NFC access, and then some. Uh, this step is uh, could be. I, I think th this is just re uh, install the basement or for your uh, running time uh, runtime for your for your uh, <coughs> for your uh, card uh, visual card running. So uh, this this could be provided by your by your bank and. Uh, the last step is install your install your visual bank uh, visual uh, visual bank ca card, and uh, in this all of this uh, step is could uh, is encrypted will and by the by the secure channel, and uh, all I all I can get is just to find uh, just the brief uh, uh, way they are they are doing. So in this section, uh, I got all the traffic. And uh, got other traffic and you, with some information leaks, but all of uh, all of the other traffic packet was uh, encrypted by by the secure channel, and uh, I can't get the secure secure channel key because it's only new by uh, <coughs> only new by something and the, your bank. So I have to draw the conclusion: your wallet is secure properly. And that's the reason why I'm using Samsung phone. 
<laughs> so here are some, some sound bites for you, this. And uh, I think uh, the, the key ISD is the, the, just the root trust of this order system. And uh, the, the, the key was used for triple dash. But I, I can't figure out what's the length of uh, this key. It could be uh, one, 128, or it's, uh, it can be, it can be one, 192. So I, can, I don't know. Um, and the other keys are still important. If you get one of it, you can de decrypt the, 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 the rest of, of, of the, the packet. And, uh, but, uh, and uh, there, there are mistakes and the design fault by something and uh, other, other developers. But with, with this, the, all of these, we, this is all we, we can know about. So I have to thank to my leader, Tom Keeper, and all the colleagues involved in this research and the document and the slides making. So thank you for you guys. Um, any questions? Um, so just going back to <clears throat> the um, user making a payment at the point of sale with the magnetic induction unit. Uh, sorry, sorry, I, I can't get you. Okay, uh, is that better? Oops. No, okay. Um, <laughs> When the user is paying at a point of sale, uh, using their phone, using yeah. the magnetic induction, if you were to stop the point of sale working, for example, using a telephone jamming transmitter of some description, because most of these things are based on GPRS, could you capture the token and then reuse it at another point in time? Uh, <sighs> I'm very sorry. I can't, I can't hear any word. <laughs> sorry. Oh. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> yes. If you have any more questions, you could um, have a chat over tea and coffee okay. outside. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.